settle into the body, yourself. Find a posture that feels just comfortable and place where you'll be able to sit for 20 minutes or so, 25 minutes. Settle down into the body and sense the body there, either on your chair or the cushion, the stool, wherever you, wherever you are. Just leaving behind the any memory of conversations and interactions from today. Um, opening to the sense of sensations there in the body, feeling the body and, and the mood of the mind, what's the mood? Yeah. also the, the ongoing reverberations of internal conversations that might be there. Don't try to do anything special, but allowing a, a sensitivity to the inner world. And as you As you turn in, checking out that mood and can there be just say 2% more kindness there? Just a little bit more kindness. And what level of refinement of effort would be needed to open to a different level of intimacy with the body just as it is now this day If it feels okay, to allow awareness to rest with the spine, the body, the spine. And in an open, relaxed way, allow, allowing the spine to just find its full, comfortable extension. This can help to just brighten awareness of the <clears throat> alertness. As awareness rests in the spine, 
and just allowing the rest of the body to relax around that. Including the mind. And then with the breath, a uh, natural rhythm of the breath. And any feelings that are present. Let them be part of your experience. consciously laying aside all other distractions. Awareness resting with the breath. There's nothing to figure out, nothing to calculate or plan. allowing the breath to be the very center of your world here. Breathing in, brightening presence, enlivening the mind, in the out breath, relaxing, releasing. Easing. It's returning to it. This natural bright awareness. Kind, open, stable. Allowing the breath to be part of this whole dynamic of experience that's there right now for you, unique for you, this present moment. And that array of experience, including the sounds around you, crickets. Patterns, patterns of thoughts and memories. Maybe the conversations from yesterday. Allowing the heart to open and just receive it all. Opening to that listening space listening with the heart. And all these different patterns of experience, the heart just receives them all without any discrimination, without preferences, welcoming, inviting,
just opening up the heart, the space of the heart. And this space here is kind of important because it's not just about developing quietness of mind. This space is alive, alert. And also have within it natural wisdom, natural knowing. And within this space, then we can actually invite into it right now, a memory of an encounter or an incident from the past of maybe a friend or a family member or a social situation, something that has particularly touched you. It's something that move, moves you to compassion. Maybe it's even the memory of a homeless person you've seen or that you know on a regular basis is always at the same spot. Whatever it is that might have formed this uh, impression on you, just allow that in. Just take a moment to consciously invite that quality of compassion. Allow the heart to be open. And see if you can find that spaciousness in regards to this person, this situation. Receiving, receiving the suffering that's there. Could be your own suffering or the suffering of another. As you allow yourself to be touched by that, it's important that we, we don't actually take that on and take an ownership of that. Compassion here is the being touched by it, but not taking responsibility for it. It doesn't mean we don't care at all, but we don't then take that suffering and walk around with it now we let it flow through so making a deliberate intention here not to get caught up into the words of this story telling yourself some story about that but really just feeling it and can you discern the suffering of the world there in this open and compassionate loving response you might have to that and however you feel it, it might be like an ache in the heart it might be a sadness it can feel like a sharp Pain sometimes. Allow it to be kind of as uncomplicated as possible. Don't try to help or fix it. Also, don't turn away or diagnose it. 
just aware, as fearless, kind presence, not rejecting, not holding. Present, clear awareness. And now then again, opening to the breath, to let the breath come into this part of the body, to allow freshness in here. Breathing in the way the body might want to move to help that painful memory or knowledge to kind of move through the body, just go ahead and do that. The out breath to sort of gently carrying it away. The in breath energizing, freshening. Relaxing. It's no matter how strong or otherwise the feeling is just let the breath in invite the breath to embrace to wash it away just like the way the the ocean comes in and washes away a sandcastle smoothing things out eroding, dissolving, we're not pushing it away, we're just letting it, letting it go. Letting the tide of the breath come in. We're softening, but we're not losing our presence or power, you might say, in our posture, not collapsing. Each breath gently flowing to the sensations there. Natural rhythm the body just allowing a, a space there around any pain there just this moment the body perfectly imperfect Just this flow of experience. Feeling the suffering, but not suffering ourselves. 